Today what I wanted to do is talk a little bit about how we use ice uh, in the office and we use a lot of ice therapy. It's one of the most natural, easiest things to really help to control pain and symptoms in our office and we as a chiropractic office would much rather have used ice therapy than using you know over-the-counter uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories such as Advil or Aleve, those kind of things. So. Uh, today what I'll do is I'm going to show you how to, how to use the ice and then talk a little bit about how, how ice works and how you can do that at home because that's something that's very simple and can be used at home. Um, so what we do initially obviously uh, is use ice in the acute, what we call the acute stages where a new injury has occurred and we use that to control swelling and inflammation. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Allie is our patient here and I'm just going to show you how we use ice in this particular case with the neck and the lower back regions and how we would apply that. So Allie, if you can just stand up for just a second. What we would do is we would set up a situation where we can have her lay on top of the ice, which is probably the best way. Go ahead Allie, go ahead and lay down on there. And then what we've done too is we've set up an ice pack for the the neck and the lower back region. It's cold. It's cold. And one of the things that we like to do is make sure that we uh, support the cervical spine and actually put her her cervical curve in while we're doing the ice, because that really helps to get um, the postural issues and also the effects of ice at the same time. And then as far as the lower back, we have her either put a pillow or she can bend her knees. And that also takes the pressure off the lower back while you're doing the ice. So this is, this is what you call it the hook line position. And it's a position that we put patients in for the neck and the lower back uh, ice therapy. And this is something that we teach our patients how to do at home because we want them to do this two or three times a day. The ice, what it basically does is it helps to get rid of the swelling and the inflammation that's in a joint, uh, sore area. And we always tell patients that you cannot overuse ice. You can do it 20 to 30 minutes at a time, and we tell them to make the goal of trying to do it two or three times a day. The ice is, like I said, just something that's so natural and so easy to use uh, and, and so effective. What will happen is she'll initially go through a, a cold, uh, sensation obviously and she will it'll feel uh, um, go through a, a numbing stage and then finally um, we call it the allergies allergesic stage where basically the pain is dissipated or it's it's eliminated now typically ice is, um, is very effective in getting rid of swelling and this, uh, this inflammatory process that these joints go through when they, there's been an injury or there's a problem. And it can be sometimes only temporary, but also if it's used consistently in conjunction with chiropractic care, uh, it, it has a more lasting effect.